So here's scale exercise number three, similar to number one. Starts on the, the this is the ascending version. Starts on the low G, goes up the scale. Instead of going back to the G, I keep going to the C. Okay? So I have G, A, B, C are my first four notes. Then the next note of the scale is the A. That's where I start my next four notes. Okay, so I've got G, A, B, C, A, B, C, D. This is my next four notes. Then go to the B. Then to the C. Then the D. E. F sharp. G. check my music on that one I uh, changed up I added just some notes because I didn't want to have to go all the way up to the B there um, so I just added some notes at the end just to make it work out right Okay, so let's do the um, descending version of that same exercise, exercise three, starting on the high G, F sharp, E, D, that's the second string, third fret, that's your first four notes, then go back to the F sharp, and down three notes of the scale, go back to the E, open E, to the open B, then the D, C, open B, G, F sharp, to the A, G, F sharp, E, D, C. as low as that low F sharp on the sixth string. Okay, again with the downs and ups, work your downs and ups. Uh, that takes uh, quite a bit of practice with your right hand to get that nice and consistent. It helps me to emphasize the uh, first note of each measure. One, one and two and three and four and, or first and third. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Those will all be down strokes. If you give them a little extra punch, it may help you keep that straight in your mind as to the rhythm as related to whether you're picking a down or an upstroke. Okay, that's exercise number three.